but they started to look at forces on the force plate in single leg exercises. And what they did is they validated it by looking at an, an old study, a 1955 study on pilots that effectively said 68% of the weight is in the plane seat. So that's what they were kind of looking at is what is the torso weight? And I don't even know what the purpose of the, the pilot study actually was, but you came away with the idea that, that your torso arms head is 68% of your body weight. And so the nice thing, and I was talking to Pat Stefanski, one of our coaches about this after the talk, is that when you get into this, people can't really debate because now they're just debating math. And you can't really have opinions about math. If I say your torso, your arms, and your head is 68% of your body weight, then that means that the remaining part, your legs, is 32% of your body weight. If I then say, okay, one leg is 16% of your body weight. So the, the basic idea, and the reason this becomes important is that if I do a one leg squat, I am using 84% of my body weight in that exercise because I'm using the 68% of my, that constitutes my torso, arms, head, and the 16% that constitutes one leg. And then all Natera did is they started looking at, okay, how much, so they, in this, I made this point, they did it all in kilograms, which is great because they use the example of a hundred kilo guy. So a guy who's a hundred kilos, he weighs 220 pounds, but we're going to make him a hundred kilos because a hundred kilos is easy. It means when he does a one leg squat, he does 84 kilos. Then what Natera said is if you take that hundred kilo guy and you put a hundred kilos on his back, so he does a body weight squat, not a body weight, not, not squatting, not a body weight squat up and down with no load, but he does a squat with a load equal to one body weight on his back. So basically 225, right? Like, you know, he's got a bar and four plates, give or take. That guy does a squat up and down and you say, okay, how much force is on each leg when he does that body weight squat? And what you realize is, well, if his torso weighs 68 kilos and the bar weighs 100 kilos, then logically the load that he's moving with his legs is 168 kilos. If we then say, well, how much is that each leg? It's 84 kilos. It's exactly what you get. So what Natera said was that a body weight one leg squat, so me standing on a box with nothing in my hands, nothing on my back and squatting up and down is mathematically from a force standpoint and validated on the force plate is equivalent to me back squatting 100 kilos or me back squatting 225 pounds, my body weight. And and then he just went on to, to do the same math and show you, okay, if you two times body weight is equal to a 50% body weight external load. So if I'm, again, if I'm 100 kilos, if I can do a set of one leg squats with 50 kilos, then I'm effectively a double body weight squatter. So it's just an incredibly, I mean, Val, it's an incredible validation of what I think we already knew.